my stuff. Hi, ma'am! <laughs> hey, Internet! It's Jessica, and welcome to Timesia. I would like to give a huge thank you to Catapult for sponsoring this video. If you guys would like to learn more about Timesia, please check the link in the description. So I haven't actually been keeping an eye on this game, just because, you know, I do like Souls kinds of games. Contrary to believe, I may not be good at them, but I do enjoy them. And this is a new one by Overboarder Studio. I'm gonna quickly read the description so you guys can get a feel of what this game is about. The once thriving kingdom of Hermes has fallen into an age of calamity. Seen as the answer to all the kingdom's ailments, alchemy became the widely used practice across the land, with denizens welcoming into their homes, using it to enhance the heal as they saw fit. When the price of alchemy became too steep, attempts to halt its use were made, each as woefully unsuccessful as the last. With the catastrophic consequences felt across the realm, within days the kingdom was felt to chaos, infected monsters prowling the blood-soaked streets, all hope of a cure lost. Carvus is the kingdom's final hope, fate of Hermes resting in his feathered hands. The truth is buried deep in the memories of Corvus, left scattered throughout the punishing world, and only by collecting those lost memories can the kingdom be saved. But each time he dives back in, trying to piece the truth together, he finds more secrets. So, I was told that the gameplay is unforgiving. I expect nothing less, and I am actually excited to see how it's gonna be. I mean, you can hear the soundtrack, it's glorious, so I'm very excited to start this. Oh god, is this me? Okay, basic controls. And interact. Okay, I think I can get the gist. Yo, look at me though! I look kinda cool! Due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declared a state of emergency. All citizens must obey by the following rules. All citizens are forbidden to from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the knights. Any sightings of plague-like symptoms or mutation must be immediately reported to the knights to be dealt with. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for in incineration and purification. Effective date immediately. Okay, so it seems like, um, yeah, things are going bad here. Follow the commands and search for the course. Okay. I guess this is my tutorial. Hello! So, perform a saber attack, beat a dodge. I'm using a PS4 controller, by the way. This is on Steam. Um, so I'm gonna have to remember that these are gonna be a little bit different. But anyway, okay. Can I like, oh, I knew it. I could lock on. Wait, what do I do here? Ooh. How do I execute that? There, there, that, oh. The hell? There has to be like a special kind of move, right? And um, considering- I have a feeling I'm probably gonna have to learn how to parry too. <laughs> but um, I like the environment. I mean, if you really look at it- Ooh, is that the tree? I think we're talking- Oh, God! Hello! Okay. I'm probably gonna learn more as I go along, so let's just keep moving. How do I- can I jump? Oh, what the hell? Ma'am? Deflect. Oh god, this is like a parrying thing. I gotta be careful. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Oh man, see this is what I'm, I'm really bad at. I have to practice. Timing it, that's the thing. I gotta time it properly. How do I jump? Am I allowed to jump? Oh, I can break those. Deadly silence hang over the streets and the city is completely sealed up. There's no food to be found, nor any water. That explains a lot of the dead bodies. So I can break into these? I don't think so, wait. Can I break them? No. I was hoping I could go in there. Okay, there's two enemies this time. So I can lock on and switch around, right? Okay, hang on. This one seems- this lady's faster. I think- is that a lady? I'm not really sure. Because his weapon- 
weapon's a lot bigger. Oh, I can't! Oh, okay, so I can't. I wasn't sure because I was considering like maybe it's from how big the weapon is. Also, I like how there's like, you see on the right hand corner, I wonder what that is. It must be like currency for like leveling up our character. Where the devourer wields your claws, tear apart the bl What? Claw attack? Whoa! What do you mean? Oh my god! Whoa! Oh Oh no! Okay, we got potions too. Hang on. Okay, so my top- the white bar is my health and green is my stamina, I can only assume. So he doesn't stagger on second attack. Yeah, I gotta like memorize all of these like... Attacks. It's a learning curve, basically. Like, even though- I Oh, whoa. Plague weapon. And Corvus can re re this to his own use. Okay, hold RT to fully charge Corvus's claw and release the replay weapon. Rebuke deals more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Corvus is vulnerable whilst changing his claw, so it's safer to perform dazed enemies. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay. Casting the replay weapon. Okay, press Y to cast it. Um, can only be used once. Corvus has super armor when casting plague weapons, but can still take damage, okay? Oh, wow! Oh, okay, I understand. Whoa, what the hell's happening with that thing? What the hell? Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so, yeah, that's neat. I like that there's different abilities for him. Oh, is that a guy? Oh, I didn't realize! My bad! <laughs> oh, shit! There's more! swing that they kind they kind of like hold back before they attack that's the thing that i have to keep re keep remembering so are potions the only way they, they can heal myself i wonder the knight stagger and the gray armor they're our last hope they led the survivors and tried to make things right the infection the infected corpses were burned to par purify of the sickness knights are our last hope it doesn't seem like they have much left too many dead bodies is that a guy? What is that? Beacon. Resting at beacons will save your current progress. You fill potions and restore health and energy. Resting at a beacon will also resurrect most enemies. Ah! Well, I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video so you guys can see. Beacon found. Oh, hello? Who the hell is that? Oh. Level up. I don't have anything that I can really get, so we'll just get out of here. But that's neat. I just wanted to show you guys. I know all the enemies are back, but just so you guys can see. Feathers, a lethal iron arrows, curse their weakness. When a green light appears before the enemy attacks, they will perform a critical attack that cannot be deflected. Instead, Corvus will swoop out of range or use feather attack. I'll teach to throw feathers and interrupt the enemies just before the enemy's critical attack hits Corvus. Corvus will regenerate thrown feathers over time. Feathers will also leave wounds on the enemies and stop them from being healed for a while. Okay. Oh god, you guys know me. I'm bad at timing this. Okay, let's see when he's gonna throw. Yo, you- Oh. Damn! Oh! Okay, hang on. Whoa! Let's calm down, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, this is gonna be trouble. When are you gonna throw a thing? Did I do it? What happened? I think I pressed the wrong button. Wait, I need you to do it again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's how we do it. I wonder if I can... the wrong one it's supposed to be lt not rb i keep pressing that that's the, the reflection button but you saw it kind of like oh when corvus's health reaches zero his memory is interrupted and converted into memory shards that's what we saw in the corner corvus can retrieve his last memory shards at the location where his memory was interrupted corvus will acquire memory shards from defeating enemies memory shards are used to level up corvus at the beacon and by talking to alsame alsame that, I, I'm assuming it's this person over here. Okay, let me go get my shards again. Wait, he was down here. Let's try this again. I, I have to keep practicing, you know? That's what, what these kinds of games are. You just gotta practice. Whoa, bro. Chill. That's oh my god, dude. I shouldn't have run away there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's why. Also, you can see him healing himself, right? Again. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no! Corvus, run! I stopped it though. Ah, wrong button again. One more. Just for the sake of this. Come on. Like a also a close up, like the cinematic for 
uh, what happens. Anyway, neat. Yeah, it's just it's just a matter of practice. That's the thing about these types of games. Nobody should be be discouraged about it. You learn as you go along. That <laughs> that's what I'm doing. It's a learning curve. All right, I can open this now. Be careful. There might be someone hiding here. Hello. Hello. Don't see anyone yet? How did this all begin? They were just an accident occurred on the day of the king's birthday. Previously, the plague was only spreading outside the kingdom, but after the outbreak, all have gone mad. I need to get some health potions. I am almost dead, dude. Or find a beacon, one of those things. Okay, I don't like how open this is. It's freaking me out. Where the hell am I? Okay, let's go down this way. Oh, who the hell's this? Hello! Oh, he's got a spear. That's kind of different. Alright, we're gonna go after the spear guy. Wait, can I go in here? Wait, hang on. Nothing in here. I thought there'd be like something. I don't know why. Just thought that. Crap. Oh, he's not there. I guess- Oh, yeah, the bosses are not- They don't revive. It's just the normal enemies. Alright, it's okay now. that I got full health, and I got, like, full potions. We should be fine, right? Okay, let me try to get this asshole again. Okay, maybe dodging is not the best with this dude. Okay, hang on. I'm sorry, I just- They don't stagger! That's kind of interesting to me, that this guy's not staggering. You know? Oh, damn! He's not staggering, I find that interesting. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I guess it's just some enemies that can stagger and some don't. So there's a variety at least. Oh, I didn't see this guy, my bad. You see that? Because he's a low- I guess, depending how difficult the enemy is, they become more and more difficult to- Alright. Okay. What is this? Pathway to the regions uh, of the kingdom, they're either lined with monsters or blocked by soldiers. None can leave and none can enter. Can I like, break it? No, it doesn't do anything. So we gotta find a different pathway. Obviously I can't go this way. Let's see what else we got. I really wish we could find another beacon. I need to um, level up myself and get some potions. <laughs> but that would be nice. Alright, I guess we're going up here. Let's see what's over here. Ooh, there's a tall guy? Oh, this does not look safe. What's going on here? Hello? Are these the knights? What the fuck? Oh, this guy looks so. F oh no, he's a boss! Oh shit! 
You were like me, sitting for the sake, whatever, whatever he was saying. I can't read. Oh, he's far. Can I parry this guy? I don't even know if that's possible. No! Oh, Jesus! Oh, he's got a combo move! Damn! I don't think I can stagger him. I like the music though. Can I just say the music is amazing, immaculate. <laughs> oh god! Wait, was I supposed to lose? Oh! I think I was supposed to lose. Like, that kind of makes sense because... Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. What happened? I did some damage on the guy, at least! Carvis, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need the right formula to, to use Hermes' answer. It appears the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a description of what you'll still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. I guess my memory was interrupted. I did die. So let's see what we got in here. The families of knightly order are a tradition of the kin to stop knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. The former chairman of the Institute of Alchemy Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with even greater abilities than herself to lead the alchemy research in Hermes. The Twilight Circus, hailing from the Sea of Ta Trees, was once again invited to perform at the royal court, except the ringmaster's Odeur's new performance was received with great acclaim from all who attended. Okay. Carvis can recall his memories by revisiting the location of the map. Okay. Sick. MC's journal. Philosopher tells the royal family sanctuary. Every foul father would take us here. He says that on the, on the hill, he is not a king, merely a father and a friend. There is no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing, and our visits to this place grew less and less. So wait, are you, like, related to the king? I guess it would be if your outfit's <sighs> like that. Continue to recall. Oh. Sea of Trees. In the early days of the plague, the nobles banished all the criminals, the poor, and the sickly to the lower level kingdom known as Sea of Trees. The upper ranks of the society living in the slums can care nothing of their lives. They refer to them as hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and manner of ghastly creatures. Search for the cores. Okay, so I guess we return here every time we die. <laughs> That's all I can take. Sea of Trees. Whoa. This map is like cool looking. Can I just say that? Level up menu. Corvus can use memory sharps. Okay, so we can level up, which I think I can do right now. Beacon found. Level me up. Level up. Strength. Vitality. 100%. That's what I need. Wait. Are they all like that? Yeah, I guess I can only put for one thing. So yeah, the more shards I get, obviously, the more you'll be able to level up. So I'll just go vitality for now because I die immediately. <laughs> Unlock talent. Oh. Saber air. So we get new moves that we can do. I guess I, I'll unlock this. Fast, faster combos. And it, I can do deflect, dodge, claw, and my feather. Okay, cool. This place is disgusting, but then again, this is where they said they, they kept everybody, right? Can't open from this side. All the poor and everything. Oh, hello. My spam attacks. <laughs> I just panicked a little bit, okay? 
Let's see. Um, are you the only person? Oh, there's two. It's you. I can go now. What is this? Oh, knife shark. Okay. Uh. Let's see what else we can find in here. More people, I bet. Whoa! What the hell's that guy? Oh man! Oh my God! There's another guy back there. Oh shit! So I'm just going wherever. Alright, let's go down this way. Oh shoot! I almost fell! Wait, there's a thing over there though. I fell though, and now I don't know where I am. areas you can go through if you just break the stuff that you're able Oh! There's a guy there! <laughs> I didn't even see you! I feel like I'm getting better at the parry. It's, it's definitely a huge learning curve because every enemy has their own pace. You don't know how fast they're actually gonna swing their weapon. Which I guess is nice because there's a variety of it, right? Okay, let's go this way, because this is where I was. Okay, this is kind of weird. Anyone- <gasps> Oh my god! Ma'am, you scared the crap out of me! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so, so she doesn't stagger. That's great, I guess. I wonder, I have a question because I want to know if this actually happens. Do they follow you if you just run? I want to see it. Oh, I think they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's see how far away I can get from like running away from everybody. So I'm, I'm interested to, to know like how far does it go? Oh, here's my stuff. Hi, ma'am. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, let me run. Oh my god. Hey! Oh, poison cloud. Whoa! And I can't run, I have to like, walk slowly. That's neat. I think everybody's following me right now. I should get out of here. Whoa. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I just wanna make sure I show you guys like, stuff in this game. Um. Damn, everybody be hiding! Whoa, that's a new enemy! That's kind of- Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's cool. So you guys can see like the different types of enemies. Okay, guys, that was a little preview of Timesia. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Clearly, I need a lot of practice, but I actually enjoy how there's different skills for our character Corvus. He's, you're able to level up them and he has different abilities rather than just his like sword and weapon which is very true to life to other Souls games as well. And the fact that different enemies have different abilities, different ways that you can, you know, have their weaknesses. I'm more interested in learning about how his whole world works because Corvus seems to be running on memories. And 
And of course, one of my favorite things about this is the soundtrack. It sounds so good. Like, hear that in the background. It sounds amazing. Anyway, if you guys would like to learn more of Timesia, please check the link in the description to learn more and check it out yourself. I want to give a huge thank you to Catapult once again for sponsoring this video. And thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!